In this video, I am going to discuss how to solve the issue of server error 400 error while saving in Elementor, just like this one over here. Okay, server error 400 error. Okay, so let's discuss uh, what type of issues uh, this might this might occur. This issue, okay, error. Uh, this issue might occur due to several factors such as uh, first one is most common is that if your internet connection is not there okay uh, if you don't have an uh, active internet connection then you might get this error okay or if you that your website is blocking you the website you're uh, working on is being blocked uh, by your country then it also might show you an error like this and the second thing is that over this error might show when you're logged out of your WordPress website. Just like this one, I'm logged out. And when I click over here, it will show the server error 400 error. Okay, over here. So make sure that you log in. Then you can, you will be able to publish the changes. Okay, but uh, still showing because I need to refresh this page. Okay. okay now if i try to save it uh then it will publish this okay and another thing is that i was having so this server error 400 error okay uh on all of my websites uh yesterday okay so um so so the problem is that you if this issue occurs with you then what you can do you can log into your cpanel okay your web web hosting c panel and then scroll down and check if you are exceeding any of these limits over here okay so you see over your file usage okay my file usage was way over 300000 and that's why all of my wordpress website i was having this issue of server error uh, 400 error okay so what I did, I removed uh, some of my staging WordPress websites and also removed, deleted those files. So what I did, I went to the file manager, okay, and then I went, I, then I deleted some of my unused websites, okay, over here. Um, then uh, this uh, file usage decreased below my limit and this uh, this error wasn't showing an, an anymore on my website okay and then what you can do you can also check these other things such as physical memory usage okay and other things over here and disk uses you see over here it's uh um, it's uh, it's unlimited so what you need to do just check on these things and make sure they are all below the limits okay and then another thing you can do is that you can update your php version if i go over here and then select php version okay then you can come over here and you can select use the php selector to select uh, an updated uh, php version over here like such as 8.4 etc and see if it solves that issue okay but mainly it, it is caused by uh, you exceeding your server limits okay so make sure that you check on this uh, right hand side uh, or uh, whatever uh, interface your hosting provider provides that you uh, all of these limits are do not have not exceeded okay so this is uh, this is the what it might help so i hope that this video helped you out and if it did then please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you